Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CSLT. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Quite the movement today, all over the place, and then you factor in the volume that occurred, and a whole lot of eyeballs were on this one today, and we'll see if that remains the case or not going into next week. Uh, but with the downwards price movement, so this was a, a very rough afternoon. I mean, there's no need to beat around the bush. I mean, I think that the price at one point got up that high, and then all of a sudden, I don't want to say collapse, that's probably too strong of a word, but it was definitely a pretty intense pullback here. So now a very valid question going into next week is, you know, is this the start of the end? What's going on with this pullback? Is it going to, you know, kind of consolidate out? So the main level that really stands out to me is down here at the dollar sixty-three mark. And why is the dollar sixty-three so important? Well, I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but let's say that the price were to come down to a dollar sixty-three and then break down below it and continue down. At that point, from a logistics standpoint, what would you have? Well, you would literally have the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out of. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were. Not exactly a sign of true strength. Or let's say the price came down here, but in this situation, behave like that before working its way back upwards. Now, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have these lows down there. You'd have those lows down there if you picture those as stair steps. Well, there you go. You still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. But the overall idea here is you don't want to see the price going back to where it was and quote unquote back to where it was. Again, in this situation is being defined right there at that line of a dollar 63 so very important level um and if the price stays above it well then this would just be an, an intense pullback that turned out to be quite healthy now what about levels of resistance nothing fancy or complicated here the parties finally stopped today right up there at essentially a dollar 78 so dollar 78 that near-term level i'll go to the daily time frame here to figure out where some of these next potential areas are oh that makes it and yes, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, so with a break of that dollar seventy-eight-ish mark, next key level of resistance right up there around the two oh seven mark. So dollar seventy-eight, two oh seven, next two key battlegrounds going forward. All in all, though, anyway, look at it. Big volume today, well above average. Now that's just a question of is this the start of something bigger or is this price just gonna roll back over? We'll see what happens with it next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go. I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.